For today's episode of Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places, we begin turning right onto Sumter County Road 48, heading to Center Hill. And we were blessed with another beautiful Florida sunshiny day, 81 degrees. This is the weather I live for. About a mile west of the town of Center Hill, you have an abandoned restaurant, Potato Shack, home cooking. I like the name of that restaurant. Just sitting here tucked away underneath the trees. There's a hole in the roof but to the left. Just before the far left door of the restaurant, there's a rock pile mound. I climbed up on it so you could get a closer look of the roof there. Several holes, it's caving in. I wonder when the last time these doors were open. And a peek through the hazy front window. You can see the counter to the right. And I'm guessing the kitchen is right behind that wall. Looks like the 80s in there. I'd say it's been at least five years to a decade since this establishment was open for business. There's also a shed back here. Got some plants hanging here. Looks like the door's open. Oh my gosh. This was the cooler. Oh man, that stench. Oh, well the cooler's just sitting there. Hello Santa. Maybe it was Christmas time when it closed down. That's horrifying. Look at here. Abandoned cooler at the potato shack. At one time, it's safe to say there was a bunch of potatoes in here, for sure. It's a busy highway up here, 48. Lots of cars and trucks going by across the street from the potato shack, the former potato shack. It's kind of funny. You've got the potatoes on this side and you got the meat on the other side. Potato Shack, Florida Beef Company. Where's the beef? It's across the street from the potatoes. You got the meat and the potatoes. And right across the street there before the driveway of Florida Beef, Florida Beef now hiring. Apply at the Guard Shack. You can apply right there. Wow, I've never seen that before. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome. If it's your first time, I don't think I've ever began an episode of this series like that before. I dropped my camera on the ground and I appreciated the palms behind me. It looked pretty cool, so I started it that way. Thanks for joining me, everyone. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel and welcome to Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places, a series I began back in the summer of 2020 when the whole world was shut down. I remember only thing open was like parks, like nature parks, not the Disney parks yet. About then, right before then, before those all opened up, I was like, you know what? I love getting out in my car. I love exploring. Why not show the nooks and crannies along the way? So here we are, another episode continuing this journey here in Sumter County. We're gonna cross over into Lake County today. It will be the first time we've ever shown Lake County here on this channel. We were just a stone's throw away last episode down in Webster, actually back that way. And there's something in this small town of Center Hill I wanna see today, so we're beginning here. I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much. There is much ahead, my friends. Potato Shack, I love that name. Highway 48, also known as King's Highway, stretching from Tampa all the way up to Ocala to Fort King one of the oldest roads in all of Florida sits right before you. There's a fire station and a water tower of Center Hill. And now in the center of Center Hill, about to head down their main thoroughfare here, their main street. I see on the insignia that Center Hill was started in 1842. And look at this, Sand Hill Cranes, right here on the sign. And right down there, right there, there's a Sand Hill Crane. Hello there, Sandy. That's what I'm naming you, Sandy the Sand Hill Cray. Sandy's sitting among the main road here, beyond that huge live oak tree, a hardware store. Center Hill Lumber Company, plumbing, paint, hardware, and electrical. Beyond this gate here. Looks like it hasn't been in business for quite some time. Check out the antique forklift sitting there, heister. Fun fact, I used to drive a forklift every day. I am forklift certified according to OSHA. 
Didn't know if I've ever said that here on this channel. Don't remember. Not vacant, there's still plenty of stuff inside. I can see through the glass. Don't know if you can see it, but there's several PVC pipe to the right as well. There's supplies in there. The main road through downtown Sand Hill is actually called Washington Avenue. And you can see some of the old brick that was paved over right here, a stretch of it. Hey there again, Sandy, just passing by. Don't mind me, don't mind us. And I was scoping this place out on Google, Google Maps, and it appears that there were several buildings since the last time they took all those images and put them online. I don't think Google Street View has been through here since 2011. Just a couple old ones still around. Maryland and Market Street. This old building, a lot bigger on this side from this vantage point. Check it out. Looks like an old general store. There's a sign above the door that says the Arthur Edwards Senior Building. And the glass is original, I can tell. It's got that imperfection in it. Looks like the address is 70 Market Street. One man's junk, another man's treasure inside the window. Looks like it may have been an antique store recently. I can see some price tags written on some of those collectibles. The door. Original doors. Peek through the front window. Yeah, look at all Look at all the junk. It's full of stuff. A closer look at the sign here above the door, the Arthur Edwards Senior Building. Watch out for wasps. Gonna hang a left around the building here, see what's on the other side. I think there's a couple more buildings. And on market here, Beasley's. Looks like Mr. Beasley owns a garage on the backside too. And it appears to be an extension, an old warehouse. Really cool alleyway in between these two buildings. It's all grown up in there. Just an old barn here. Love the red siding. And if it weren't for the highway out there, this would be another very quiet town. All I hear is road noise, bird chirping, and also I hear someone mowing their lawn in the distance out there in the neighborhood. Hear it? It's way out there. Quiet town. Liking it. And at one point on the corner here of Market in Maryland, opposite of Beasley's, there were a stretch of brick buildings, a downtown area. Once before our time here today, all torn down. But there are several buildings there on the other side. Some older ones, especially an old filling station down to the left that I can't wait to get to. It's pretty cool looking. There's also an old fox body style Mustang, an 80s Mustang right over there. There's a strap tied to that back bumper. It looks like it got towed to that spot a long time ago. And it has several flat tires, not going anywhere. It looks like someone's working on this car, fixing her up as they should. And the next building down from the last one where the Mustang was sitting, an old barn. And the barn doors open, top loft, door wide open. Kind of gives me a Friday the 13th vibe. Gas station on the corner. Looks like an old service shop. It's got the lift right here underneath this awning on the corner. Just coming around, letting the camera roll, showing you what's going on. Coolest building we've seen so far. Look at this. Pretty neato hear motorcycles in the background along highway 48 antique lift I doubt that still works pretty cool to see an old Joyce it's a long building stretches all the way down here almost a uh, an entire block right here on the corner you can see where we began out in the background over there at Beasley's here's the old fuel aisle this is where probably everyone would come to get their gas here in Center Hill Way back in the way back. Cool store. May have been a convenience store on this portion. Those old doors, look at them. Oh, there's a sign in the window. Cutlery, painter's supplies. Another paint store, cutlery. You can barely make out that sign. It is so old. There you go. You see it? Right there before the window. Let's take a peek in if we can. Can you see in there? the mesh oh no wind picking up a little bit you can hear some roosters crowing and this is magnolia street came across the street to sit in the shade sun's coming up 
It is now almost 90 degrees in the middle part of the day. Here on the back right side, if I had to guess, these two doors and the fact that there's a water spigot right there, I'd say restrooms. One to the left and one to the right. I parked right over there underneath that oak tree in the shade. Looks like I'm the only one exploring downtown Center Hill right now, other than people just passing by in their cars. I'm the only one here. Rooster crowing in the background. Okay, now it's time to head out of Center Hill. Eventually we'll be heading into Lake County, but there's one more stop I want to see today, right outside of town here. Goodbye Sandy the Sand Hill Crane. Nice meeting you. One thing I always grab right before beginning these videos is a giant bottle of Zephyr Hills water. Yep, and it's always Zephyr Hills, Florida. And we're heading about five miles out of town, straight up this way. East Highway 48 towards Okahumka. Not quite getting to Okahumka though. Isn't that a funny word? I love saying that. Okahumka. Try to say that fast. And we have now entered Lake County for the first time here on this channel. I was hoping to visit a cemetery that I found on the maps that looked pretty cool, but it's actually on private property and the access road back to it is behind a gate. Things don't always work out, but that makes me think, I better say that most of the time, 95% of this, these videos, I'm just simply going down the road and stopping and showing things that I discover right then and there. I know beforehand the area, the region, the town that I want to check out, but that's it. So sometimes things don't work out, but there's so much in Florida to see, especially in Lake County. So here we go, much ahead. Stop beside the road here just to show you what a Buena Vista this is. Look at the rolling hills of Lake County, Florida. This awesome, beautiful pond with all the water lilies out there. Wow, okay, so Google Maps is routing me down this road. Look at this. It's a sandy dirt road. There's a truck coming right there. Okay, I've got the uh, Volkswagen vision on the hood of the car, so I'm gonna capture some footage for you as I'm driving down this road. North Austin Merritt Road and County Road 40A, Lake County, so that's where we're headed. Buckle up, this is gonna be a bumpy ride. Actually, surprisingly, pretty smooth so far. Big oak tree right there. Some very nice scenery up here. Not too many hills in Florida. And into a nice little shade tunnel. Everyone? This is real Florida. So I've seen a lot of things left out on the side of the curb for the garbage man to pick up, but I've never seen anyone leave an entire trailer. Oh, it says sold. Okay, maybe someone's gotta come pick it up. Right there in the window, it says sold. It's pretty neat though. Just sitting by the road here, casually. It's an old one too. It's an old camper. Going really slow now. I can't imagine driving along this road in the summertime. Rainy season. You would have to have a four wheel drive. And it looks like most of the houses I passed, the few I passed, they all have trucks. We've got cows. It's the best impression I can do. Being a little boy in Indiana, I grew up among corn and cows. A lot of both of those when I was a kid. My dad actually worked at a sale barn for extra cash. He would take me to the auctions and I got a fear of swine when I was a kid walking in between the pig stables. Now, we're not talking about one pig, two pig, three pig, four. We're talking about hundreds of pigs pushing up against the wood fence inside the 
paddle option and me just going down as a little boy, eye level, looking between the slats and seeing into the soul of the pig or vice versa. They stared into my little soul, my little Indiana J soul. I don't know why I just told that story, but I just did. Just thought of it sitting here. I always think of my dad when I'm out in rural places. He would always take me to work and he would build fences just like this one here. And now we enter the city of Muscote. I hope I'm not butchering that pronunciation. M-A-S-C-O-T-T-E. I doubt it's Muscotti. I think it's Muscote. Established 1885, charted in 1925. And will you look at this piece of Americana beauty. I have highly anticipated checking this place out. I first passed it a couple years ago, dropped a pin on the map, saved it, and I couldn't wait to come back over here. Sad though, very sad that I didn't get here in time. Look, there's a fence all the way around this place, but still cool to see it. Love the Phillips 66 sign that sits right out front. Also, look at this, giraffe. Hello, Jeffrey. We met Sandy the Sandhill Crane, and now we've met Jeffrey the Giraffe of Muscot. I don't know. Always got to give someone a nickname, right? Hello, Jeffrey. Man, he's pretty old, too. Someone built this. This is so cool. Old filling station there, or a mock-up of it. All the old road signs. I see some Pepsi-Cola signs, some Texaco signs. An old scale there with an American Airlines sticker on it don't know if that was from american airlines or someone just stuck that on there there's so much stuff going on fire breathing dragon right before the garage there i don't know if he's fire breathing i'm just calling him that he's got his tongue sticking out though what is that from holy cow that looks like it should be in a theme park we are very close to orlando maybe it was it's pretty amazing look at this nice tug that's a big one it's the size of a surfboard <laughs> Got his Gene Simmons going on. Just to show you what's going on here, Highway 50, sharing the same property. It looks like there's some sort of a feed store. It used to be. Also, it says Starbound Performers, National, International, US, and World Dance Champions. It looks like the owner of this building is a collector and also is into dancing. It's a dance studio. Some old tractors over there. Check it out, just stretching down the property here just to show you what's going on. And you know, if you've been watching, I have a thing for tractors, especially International Harvesters farm malls right there, classic. I do remember once passing by here and this place being open for business. Hope it comes back again someday. I, I missed an opportunity, that's for sure. And if it does open up, I'll come back. Nice ride, look at that. And way out beyond this cul-de-sac, across a lake there, Lake Jackson is the name of it, is our second water tower of the vlog. City of Muscote water tower. Moving my way more into the center of downtown Muscote, right here along Highway 50. I've seen a lot of vacant and abandoned buildings, but this is the first time I've ever seen a vacant honky-tonk. Virginia Square Dance Apparel and western wear. That sign, very vintage, very 80s. Pointing the camera through the glass, very vacant. Looks pretty good though, it's in great shape. I'm sure if these walls could talk, and the floors too, they talk of boot scoot and boogie. We have boys and girls western wear. We have country and western. We're a country western bar. The gutters have fallen down. Okay, cool stop, Virginia's. Shout out to Virginia. And I found a cool little spot underneath this oak tree to end this video. I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next video. I am Tampa J, and there's always much ahead. If it was your first time here, if you want to come back, subscribe below, and I'll see you there. Thank you so much, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for always watching. I know you're awesome, I know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, I believe there's much ahead for you. Yes, you. Thanks, everyone.
See you next time. What? Listening to the Tampa Bay Rays on 620 Sports Animal. They just broke a record yesterday. 21 home runs ever to be hit. 21 games, 21 home runs. Longest streak in baseball ever. And today they set it again. It is now 22. And welcome to the bonus features. I've driven to Walt Disney World's Epcot. You can tell. Nope, that's no moon. That's Spaceship Earth behind the monorail track beyond the pines right there. Came over here to meet my beautiful fiance for a lovely day at Epcot. Still got plenty of daytime and also congratulations to her, Chris the girl, for becoming a Walt Disney World annual pass holder. Today is the day she cashed in. Love you, babe. Congratulations. And if you don't know who my fiance is on the YouTube, that's www.youtube.com slash Chris the girl. C R I S T H E G I R L. So you can subscribe to this channel and then head over to Chris's channel and subscribe there as well if you'd like to join us. Everyone is welcome. We love you all and you're all a part of the family. So really appreciate you watching these videos, especially when you stick to the end like this. Thank you. It means a lot. Appreciate you all. Okay, now it's time to go in there and have some fun. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places. We'll see you next time. The possibilities are endless. There's tons to see here in Florida and beyond. There's much ahead, my friends. So much ahead. Bye-bye. Helicopter, get out of the shot there to the right. All right, it's over.